Gigi Arandit hasn't had a sip of alcohol in about six years. In February, she opened Binge Bar, an alcohol-free bar in Washington, the first of its kind in the U.S. capital. She says that when she gave up alcohol, she wanted to find a space like Binge Bar, but there was none. Right around the time I got sober, actually, that was back in 2018, um, I was on my way to Dominican Republic and I grabbed one of those airline magazine by Southwest and read about an article um, about a non-alcoholic bar in Austin, te Texas. In 2020, during the pandemic, around June, I want to say, this space became available and I was asked if I knew someone that would be interested in renting the space or if I was ready to start my own venture. And for some reason, something just clicked and I came back to that article. The rest is history. The binge bar immediately became popular with locals. Many say it's a relief to sit at a bar and not apologize for choosing a non-alcoholic drink. Man, I'm here three or four times out of the week, man. These are, these, these are like my family. Now you're not scared if, you, if you're not the drinker. New research is beginning to suggest that even moderate drinking carries some health risks. But for around it, drinking was a symptom of a bigger problem. I think it was my escape. I think it was also presented to me at such a young age, because in the Philippines you can drink at 16. Um, and I was introduced to it. My first memory of having something close to alcohol was four years old. That's one of like my, my memory. And it's, it was just handed to me to taste. For alcoholics or people who just don't like to drink, socializing can be difficult. Booze-free bars can become a useful addition to therapy. Many people have an assumption that a person who drinks too much is a bad person and is, is being selfish or hurting other people willfully. And it turns out that if you look at alcohol not so much as a, as a sin or a willful problem, but as a disease, a disorder, that people many times can't help. Experts say finding a new hobby to replace thoughts about alcohol can help people who are trying to live alcohol-free or think they have a bad relationship with the booze. With that in mind, around it hosts events like yoga and Pilates, dance sessions and musical gigs at the bar. Karina Befredjan for VOA News, Washington.